Yes. Cal, you um, you called this, you know, for months, saying, hey, we're going to have some early season struggles. You better believe me. What's the next part then? I mean, after you, you call this, you said, what's the next part? How do you guys sort of grow from the, the stuff that you Well, the, the one thing is you see now why I didn't want to go to Maui, that this team was too young to go and play seven games and five of them away from home, and now eight games and six of them away from home. We're too young a team. Uh, but the good news is our – Areas that we need to get better at within the team, and then it's, uh, how we play are very easy to see. And so, you know, a lot of what we're doing right now is individually and as groups, talking about how we have to be, um, talking about trust, um, having respect for each other's games, understanding that a month from now is not what we're going to look like, uh, <coughs> and that, you know, Figuring out how we play at the end of a game. I talked to him about trust. You almost, because we got so many young guys, you got to tell them what that means when you talk defense, when you talk offense, uh, when you talk a will to win. What does that mean? And so I have to explain it to them where you'd think they'd know. Uh, talking to them about what it means on a game day. Uh, from the pregame meal on, how to prepare for a game. Things that you would think they know that they don't. And uh, um, like I said, we're, we're a young team, but we've got uh, the pieces we need to do well. And, uh, but to play a senior-oriented team like Notre Dame is going to be a hard challenge. I mean, it's you're talking five seniors who have been through the wars and played on that floor more than my guys. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it'll be – It'll be a tough challenge for us. Terrence is not used to struggling, so you know it's a new experience for him. How do you get his head back in? Well, I think again, he learned a great lesson about preparation. Learned a great lesson, and the, and the thing I keep saying to these guys is, as long as you accept where we are, you can change. If you're not going to accept where we are and what we have to get better at, and you have an excuse for everything, you're never going to get better. You can't change it. You can't make adjustments. So I, I think he'll be fine. I think that was one of those games that he learned from. He didn't, you know, didn't do a real good job of preparing to play. And from the beginning of the game, never got into the game. Was never emotionally uh, connected to the game and had no, um, there was no sense of urgency the entire game. And what you, you say to guys, how you usually start, it's how you finish. It's just hard. If you haven't done anything up until game time to get ready for a game, if you think, all right, I'll turn it on five minutes in. That's high school. I'll, I'll do it in the third quarter. Second half, I'll be ready. You, no, it just doesn't work that way. And so it was a great lesson for him. Cal, you came in with some ideas of, of playing more and, and maybe higher profile games in Louisville. How, how do you look at the games you're going to play there now down the road? How do you look at playing in Louisville? You know what? I haven't spent any time thinking of it, to be honest with you. John, what was that preparation supposed to look like this past week for Terrence? Well, you get up for a a pregame meal, and from that moment on, everything you're doing is geared toward getting you ready for a game. Everything. Um, you don't go back to sleep. You, everything you do is here, I'm going to get myself ready. This is, sometimes you're thinking too much of the game, so you put some earphones on and listen to some music to calm yourself down. But whatever you do, there's one purpose, getting ready for this ball game today. What I tell them, if you you're a little tired from a half hour after the game until the next day in the afternoon. You never have to leave your bed. You sleep the whole time. But between that meal and that game, you're getting ready for that game because that's the most. And you owe it to your team. You're, you, you're, your team's got to trust that you're going to do this. You've got to be responsible to each other. And they're all learning this. We're not yet playing for each other. We're still kind of playing and there are spurts that we look good, but we're not playing for each other yet. And that's what we got to crack and get to. But this was us a year ago. People forget John, John Wall was turning the ball over five, six times a game. I can remember Marcus, DeMarcus Cousins in Stanford. I can remember watching DeMarcus Cousins against North Carolina, which I watched on a tape. He was awful. These guys are young. The difference is we don't have as many guys. The North Carolina game, the amazing thing with it, we should have and could have won the game. And Terrence was three for 17 in the no-show. What? 
Brandon had six turnovers. What? And we still had our chances up one with a minute 46 and then foul and let a kid catch it. And, I mean, it was stuff that, again, the will to win and, and you know, we're qu not quite there yet. The fact that they were that close in that environment, what does that say about their mental toughness? I don't know yet. I don't know. I thought we should have won the game, especially after I watched the tape. You, you watch it again and you're, you know, we had two stretches, 25-17. We had four possessions in a row. Everybody broke it off and did their own thing. So now it's 26-25. We're up 57-51. The same thing happened again. We all broke it down. I'm, I'm going to get mine. I'm going to do this. And then all of a sudden, we're in a tie ball game. And then we're up 68-64. And we do the same thing again. I mean, again, it's stuff that we showed them and we'll learn. And uh, we got good kids. It's just that they've never been in this environment. It's all of us in this together. And it doesn't matter. Like, Deron Lamb should have got the ball more. But guys were like, well, he shot the last two. I'm getting this one. No. He made the last two. You missed the last four. He shoots this one. I mean, that's what they – they don't understand it. I mean, it's just like, you know – but that's okay. I mean, that's where we are. I mean, here we are, a brand-new team, and, um, you know, people still – you know, I like my team. I just like to win every game, but I like my team.